jungle. The start of this year on my vision card, the first two things I wrote on there were to pay off my credit card debt and to buy a house. Um, I was thinking I'd have to pay down my credit card debt before I can look at buying a house, but I kind of fell up on the house that not really looking for one, just kind of looking at price ranges. Um, just so happened the house was a block over from my mom's. I could see her back door from my front door. Um, I pay over $1,000 in rent. So when I buy this house, which is in the next couple of weeks I close, my mortgage will be $400 and that extra money that I save from renting, I can pay off my credit card debt. So my vision will be done in about 12 months. I've been a Catholic, or was a Catholic, for 50 years. Um, I was born a Catholic. I did everything Catholics were, you know, told you to do and followed that lead for many, many years. And then I went to a church in Ruston, Louisiana. In fact, my son and my daughter-in-law go there and was invited to go. Went to the church and felt a stirring. And when that stirring just got more and more, I knew that I had to move. And there was a small voice inside of me that said, this is where you belong. And I knew that I couldn't stay. So I came back to Alexandria and was told the sis that the church in Ruston was the sister church to Christian Worship Center. And the more I waited to come, the hunger got more and more. And I ended up here one Wednesday night. And it's been an amazing journey so far. My son also attends, and he is also the reason I'm here as well. Um, I saw something in him totally change, and now he has just turned his life completely over to Jesus. And for both of us, it's such an amazing journey, and I'm so glad that I am here at Christian Worship Center. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. Um, I grew up without my dad until I was 12 or 13. My mom would always either be in the house with us, um, she would either do drugs with us in the house or go to her friend's house or say she was going to work. <sighs> my grandpa was there as my best friend, my dad, my mother, my everything. I had people tell me, oh, you don't belong here. You." or a waste of space, go kill yourself, no one would care. My grandpa would be there and he would say, no baby, everything's okay, God has a plan for you. When I turned nine, he went to the hospital, got diagnosed with brain cancer and a lot of other things. Um, I watched my world crumble at my feet and knowing I could do nothing about it <laughs> at all. Um, he passed two months before his birthday I sat in my room for months and just blamed my blamed it all on me. So asking God, just take me, why take him? He had so much more than I did to live for. As I got older, I suffered through depression uh, from nine to about 14. That was in and out of counseling, um, on so many medications, and I was out of church for five years and lost faith. Well, as I started getting a little older, I realized, look, I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't live the way I'm living now. Um, I left my mom's house when I was 12, moved in with my dad. My friends that I had when I lived with my mom were either doing drugs when I left, got pregnant, and it was not the lifestyle I wanted to live. I left, and it was just crazy. I switched churches back and back couldn't find a home, couldn't find friends who understood me. I uh, switched here and almost three years now came here. I made some awesome friends and I made a family who I know cares about me. My friends, they're like, look, the devil's just tempting you. Get him out to tell him, look, you're not the boss of me. You get out of my life. God is my love, my, love, my life, my everything. You can't do nothing about it. I lived my life and there's still times I just want to slip from God's hand, but 
There's other times he grabs me, he's like, no, you're not going nowhere. You are here to stay, no matter what happens.